All right, this time, share my screen here. Boom. All right. So, continuing on with the clubs, which I think are very important, as I said in one of my other videos. Um, this is very much like temperament theory that you see in uh, Kiersey's style or other temperament theories. They go back a long way. Uh, like the, when you hear sanguine, caloric, phlegmatic, that kind of stuff. All right. Temperament theory. It's a nice, simple way of kind of grouping uh, people based on their seeming temperament, their outer behavior, the things they seem to be interested in. Um, it's a nice way of, without digging too deep and asking too many questions, just kind of observing and listening to what they seem to be interested in, you can kind of get a feel for their temperament and begin typing them essentially based on that and learning a lot, okay? Um, Quadris gets a lot of uh, attention in Socionics, which is important, and that's great. But we also need to talk about uh, clubs because it's just another useful tool. It just doesn't get enough love. love. So here I'm starting with um, the socials, um, kind of going backwards. So these are the socials in Socionics. In other words, the SF group of people. So that includes here, ESE, SEI, SEE, and ESI. This would be the ESFJ, the ISFP in Socionics, but in MBTI, this is the ISFJ. And then here we have ESFP, and then this is the ISFJ in Socionics, but in MBTI, it would be the um, ISFP. So again, the letter switches. Either way, they all have SF in the middle. That's what's important. Defined by ethics and sensing, yada, yada. They all are kind of playing with these functions right here, these elements that they're strong in. F-E, S-I, F-I, or S-E. So kind of important, your ESFJ, your ESEs, and your SEIs over here are playing with these two, F-E and S-I. The other two are playing with FI and SE, a combination of that, which makes them slightly different, even though they're all SFs. Their motivations are different, and that's why they get grouped in different quadrants, but they're still SFs. So what's SF about? Uh, it's about relationships with people, people in their immediate life in some way. Um, it's very grounded, very down to earth, very much about day-to-day -day realities of things. So here, you could read through it. <sighs> it's interact likely based on enjoying conversations over families, personal relationships, artistic, sensorial interests, cooking, gossip, group and social activities, such as parties, dancing, travel, sportive stuff. The stereotypic women's group, which is why this in a way has a stereotypical basic bitch like um, comment, but don't be fooled by that. It's not always the case uh, here. Clubs can be formed by men, right? Of course. So they could be talking about sports and they could be talking about cars and uh, going to parties and things like that. Variety of social things. The men can be also talking about their families, their personal relationships, things like that are going on in the world. These people may be talking about um, not only their own families and relationships, but maybe other things like celebrity relationships and celebrity stuff. This is a group that might be very interested in um, what goes on with celebrities in general, what celebrities are dating who, what's happening in the news, which celebrities in a movie, what's The Rock doing now, you know, they, they almost personalize even celebrities. Um, they, they often like to help people in a very personalized way. Um, this is why it's a group that can go into medicine and things like that quite a bit because uh, it's helping someone. It gives them that impression. I'm doing something useful and practical to help you with your ailment, your issue. Um, you can go into cooking. I'm cooking for you. I'm helping to keep you uh, healthy and safe. Hey, I'm helping you with your house, things that you need for your house. It's very practical, very sensory stuff, things that people need that make their lives better. Okay, And it feels like you're helping to make their lives better. And that's really what it's all about, making their lives better better. I'm helping people by doing something that that person 
needs or could use. Very much about taking care of people around them. Now, it breaks off into the alphas and the gammas, right? Because as I mentioned, you have the ESE and the SEIs. These are alphas. And the SEE and ESI are gammas. So they break off, right? Different quadras now. Still SF, but they're a little bit different in their interests. So here, alpha is attenuated to emotional atmosphere of the group. Effort directed at affecting change in group's emotional state may avoid voicing principles and beliefs to maintain harmony. Yeah, basically what's going on here is alpha quadra values. They're very much about everyone fitting in, everyone getting along, everyone kind of being treated as equals, everyone has an equal voice at the table. Um, and they really dislike negativity negative conversations or conversations that are very depressing, right? They don't want to talk about all the, the dark stuff going on in the world. They know it's out there. They know there's serious business going on, but they don't want to get into that for very long. They'll discuss it briefly and then move on. If they have to talk about it, it might be maybe because it's part of their job. And so it's kind of, they're obligated to, it's part of the job, but on their day-to-day -day life casually if they have the option they don't want to talk about the the heavy dark stuff going on in the world okay and they don't like to nitpick at people they don't want to point fingers at who sucks and who's bad and and that you need to do this they generally know they kind of have a more positive outlook towards everybody try to um it doesn't mean they won't correct you if they think that you're behaving inappropriately you're doing something that's not good for the group, right? If you're disrupting the harmony, you're not behaving accordingly, they'll tell you something because they want you to get back in line with the overall group and everyone get along. So that's where they can be that mommy type who's trying to get you to straighten out your tie and dress properly and uh, have proper etiquette and things like that. Okay, But ultimately, it's a very positive kind of view. So gammas don't. Gammas can have a much more negative point of view. Okay, gammas are much more focused on specific individuals that they really like, and they stick very closely and tightly to those individuals that they really like. They're not as interested in the overall group. They're more interested in the individuals that they like and um, really protect and defend and support those individuals in any way they can. Um, they are much more okay with having more negative conversations, talking about people they don't like, um, talking about people who have done them wrong, talking about maybe some negative things going on in the world. So they can bring more of that negativity <clears throat> into a conversation willingly, right? Not a problem for them to do that. That separates them from alphas, right? It's a gamma thing. But, <clears throat> uh, they're still very much talking about people, people in their lives, people that they care about and don't care about, people um, that they want to pay attention to. They're, most of their thoughts and things they're dealing with is about people, people in a very practical sense. Who can I help? Who's important to me? Who's not important to me? What's going on in my local community and things like that? Uh, what's positive for people, et cetera. That's kind of what the SFs are always about. So as we talked about here, these are the people talking about the, you know, the their families and going to personal parties and making sure that they don't miss a personal, uh, some kind of family get together. They're not missing. They want to make sure they show up to the school function where their friends are going to be there, paying attention to their friend stuff. Whose birthday is it? Who's got something coming up? <clears throat> Getting gifts for people. Oh, I saw something and it reminded me of so-and-so let me get them this gift because they're going to love it you know very much into that kind of stuff that's that's your sfs <clears throat> um and then down here nice little bit very useful perception of the other clubs their perception of the researchers the nts socials are inclined to regard researchers with either a sort of pity thinking that researchers need to get out more and be more friendly or admiration of their perceived knowledge areas I would say that's pretty much about right in one sentence. Um, a lot of the researchers may come across as very nerdy and just don't socialize nearly enough. And they feel like, hey, you kind of need to get out more. 
and they might help them. Like, come on, let me help you get out more. Let me help you socialize more. Come with me and meet my friends. Come over to my family thing. Um, or I like you because I like your nerdiness and I find you attractive for that. And come over here, you know, that kind of thing. Um, admiration for perceived knowledge. The SFs spend so much time on more of this socializing family stuff, um, people, things, how can I help people, whatever, that they spend very little time focused on theoretical knowledge, on more abstract things, on researching about how things work. How does the world work? How does these economic structures work? Or how does that other thing over there work? And how does that, they don't spend much time on that. So they're very unaware of that. And they might find it kind of interesting that many researchers have done the research to learn about that stuff and can explain it to the SFs. They may admire that, find that attractive, find that interesting. Okay, very duality kind of thing going on here. Then you have pragmatists. Socials are inclined to enjoy pragmatist company and social activities and appreciate their practical skills, but are also to see them as too abrasive or cold. Um, so here again, pragmatists, very, very uh, pragmatic. They know how to get things done. And that's very useful to a lot of your SFs. Because again, SFs focus on people. Probably a type that doesn't really understand what to do about their car and what's going on with their car or how to put drywall and then fix the hole in their ceiling and this and that and the other. How do I deal with the plumbing in the house? Uh, I'm not really sure how I do my taxes and finance stuff properly. I'm not really sure how to play this sport. I've never really done that. I don't get the rules and things like that. Your pragmatist types might know all that quite well. Um, or maybe pragmatists who are educated on a particular area. They're military professionals, they're engineers, and they understand engineering things very, very well. And they can bring that knowledge and understanding. But here, as I mentioned, pragmatists can be very too abrasive or cold, very common. Uh, pragmatists can seem very shitty on the social skills. Um, like they're just not putting nearly enough attention into it. Um, or are being very practical and very thinking like, and therefore are not prioritizing the emotions and concerns of other people, what makes people feel good. Um, so that could be an issue there sometimes. And then humanitarian socials are inclined to regard humanitarians. And of course I got this damn thing away. Humanitarians as idealistic people, but dreaming too much and not very practical. Um, again, socials and, and humanitarians are very people focused. But humanitarians are less interested in the day-to-day -day getting things done and dealing with people around them in a practical sense and doing things for them. The humanitarians, the NFs, can just be a little bit too much into these very ideological kind of things. This wouldn't it be nice if, you know, wouldn't the world be a better place if we just all got together and did this? You know, NFs can be very into that kind of idealism not very practical, um, but it is still about people. So they can, humanitarians and socials can get along well in that at least that they're talking about people. And humanitarians can, can be social and deal with the, you know, talking to people and kind to people and be very nice in conversation and stuff like that pretty well. So they can, they can hang with the SFs in social stuff. They just can't do it for as long because they get burnt out doing this kind of day-to-day -day stuff and, and caring about everybody and what's going on that NFs eventually kind of want to retreat to their own grand ideas and stuff, all right? So they can still get along rather well. Uh, very much a individual preference. Some SFs really like the researchers. That's kind of the way it's supposed to work according to duality theory and so on in socionics. Um, but it's just not always the case. There are many SFs that may like uh, an NF humanitarian because they're still very feely, but more abstract in their approach. Uh, and you have others that, that love the pragmatists. Very, you know, get it done. These are all the things that need to get done and so on. Um, this is a group that is often seen as a very feminine, it's described in a very feminine way. That's why they even had to kind of mention that this is a very woman's group, but obviously men can do it. 
Um, so there's a lot of men that are SFs and play this role of being very good at taking care of everybody, being aware of who needs what. Um, uh, each member of, the, of their family or their friends, who's again, whose birthday, who wanted what, who needs present, who's this, who's not feeling well lately, you know, how can I help them out? There are many men who do that too. Um, so that's one of the important pieces to keep in mind. Gender matters. Uh, there are plenty of SFs that are males. Okay. Um, and SFs, even though they are, again, focused on all this stuff, all this feeling people stuff, they are also very good at getting day-to-day -day tasks done, practical things that need to get done. These are people that can be very good in school, get good grades. They can be very good at their job and getting things accomplished, tasks, whatever needs to be done. They will fit the role that they need to do to get things done that ultimately provides money, provides resources, or just provides overall happiness to people. But their focus is I'm doing all this because it provides those things I need to make people happy. Um, it's kind of the idea there. Okay. So SFs, again, very important. Club, uh, it's another temperament kind of approach. You should be looking at this when thinking about typing someone or what somebody's about and how this type of person, SF, may be interacting with one of these other kinds of people, right? How they may be getting along or not getting along with these other kinds of people, right? So there you go. Uh, again, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, are you one of these SFs? Does this kind of work for you? Can you see this clearly now when you're dealing with people, these kinds, researchers, pragmatics, humanitarians, you know, et cetera. Okay. So uh, on to the next one on this sequence of clubs.